Hey everybody, Rowan Smith from the Mortgage Center. Um, I'm taking a lot of inquiries on properties that have you know four, five, six uh, suites in the, in the home, and uh, you know East Vancouver has a lot of these, especially some of these larger, older, you know turn of the century homes that were built. Um, the people have converted them over years from being kind of a large mansion into being a six or seven unit property. So I wanted to find what constitutes a commercial property versus what constitutes a residential, because the the uh, mortgage requirements and the paperwork requirements and the rate that you'll pay are heavily dependent on whether or not you're going to go residential or commercial. So a couple of things. First off, on a residential basis, if the property has more than four units, that is going to be constituted as commercial. There was one lender, Bank of Montreal, that used to do five units, but uh, that's all gone. So if you've got a property that has, you know, a main floor and four suites, that's a commercial property. Uh, so long as you're going to be using that income from the property to qualify for the mortgage. If uh, there is a couple of appraisers out there who have uh, worked with some of these five and six unit properties who've said that we've got three units with two illegal unauthorized suites. Well, that gets us into the is it authorized, unauthorized, how much are you putting down and all this. So by and large, the rule of thumb is four properties, sorry, four units or less in one property is residential. Anything beyond that is commercial. Now, if it's zone commercial, but people are using it residentially, it's still a residential or uh, sorry, sorry, it's still a commercial property and it will be judged and evaluated by lenders on that. Uh, basis. Where you see this is, um, I'm just trying to think of some areas in Vancouver, Kingsway and, um, and, and these type of areas where there's a lot of low-line sprawl of commercial units on the basements and you'll have everything from nail salons to restaurants with residential suites upstairs. Now if you're looking at one of these, they are cash cows. I mean they, they can generate a lot of rental income when you've got a commercial lease underneath generating the bulk of it and a couple of residential units on top. Often the owners will choose to live in those units and they sound great in principle, but because they're zone commercial in a commercial um, area, they get treated commercially. Now you say, well what does that mean? Okay, first off, you're going to be a much heavier down payment, probably 35% down or more. There's ways around this using expensive private financing, but by and large, if you're thinking of getting bank rates, that's what you're going to be looking at. 35% down is number one. Second, you're getting the commercial appraisal. They start at about $1,500 and they take a month. They don't take three days or two days like a residential appraisal. So your subject removal period will have to be substantially longer. Third, you're going to be looking at possibly requiring environmental studies. Uh, they want to look at uh, the surrounding area, you know, is there a fueling station or a car lock nearby? Was there ever a dry cleaner or any other kind of chemical heavy, environmentally intensive or environmentally dangerous business around you? Even though it's not in your building per se, but if it's within a, a very close proximity, it still impacts whether or not banks are going to want to finance it because they don't want to be on the hook having to foreclose when it turns out your property has massive environmental problems down the road. So larger down payment, environmental studies, more costly appraisals, and uh, the environmentals could be one, two, or three stages, uh, or phases rather, uh, depending on um, uh, the type of property and the type of business that's in it or has been in it in the past. So four units or more, you're going to face commercial guidelines, probably going to pay a higher rate in fees as well. Four units or below, four and below, inclusive, so four units included. You can get it done on a residential basis as long as it's not zone commercial or any commercial area that looks like uh, light industrial uh, as well. So if you're looking to buy one of these properties, you want to know if it's even feasible, let me just take a look at it. It'll take me five minutes of our time to go over the property and determine whether or not it's going to fit under residential or commercial guidelines and how best to get it financed and what you're going to need to do so. For the Mortgage Center, I'm Rowan Smith.